But today's review is going to be over a great game called Self Destruct. Now, before I start whining, yes, I know. I'm reviewing another shmup. Big whoopity doo! I don't care. Anyway, let's get on with this review. This is a bullet hell game, as you might tell by the footage. This game is a very fun game. It's very action packed and very fast, and not to mention, very, very creative. Now, there's many depth to this game. For example, there's nukes, there's a shield, there's power you have to worry about, not to mention the constantly spawning enemies with new enemies coming every wave, and not to mention the fact you have to absorb the bullets and collect power-ups at the same time in order to get the more score. You score for every time you don't use the shield. These are only the few of many things that are good about this game. Now, being a bullet hell, this isn't for everyone, but for the people who love these kind of games, this is the king of them all. This is an indie game released for free, so don't have to worry about paying for it. I mean, God knows that if this was an arcade game, you'd waste plenty of money trying trying to beat it. And trust me, you will die a lot. Now, don't be deceived. Graphics look a lot better in person than they do in this recorder. This recorder is not doing justice. And again, I was not able to get sound for this from, from this footage. So, sorry to tell you that, but, this, but, the, but the music is great. I always hate the kind of people who say that this is just a this is just mind-numbingly easy. There's no thought or or processing put into it. But they don't realize is that there's a lot of strategy in this game. You can't just mow, mow through every enemy. And this requires a lot of strategy. This game is very very brutal. At any point, it can go from being you're you're mowing through every enemy to completely being owned. Please note, I have not beaten the game. I've only gotten to about 136, I think. And that's that's like a long time with plenty of practice. This game requires a lot of patience and requires a lot of time to be spent on it. So don't expect to just mow through it in one one day. Even if you get bored with regular mode, you can make up your own modes. I find that if I if I stand still or if I don't use a shield once, or I call it the minimal shield run where you only use it a couple times, or even trying to do it without shooting. These extra quote unquote modes and overall the best game experience I've had in a long time make this game one of the most strategic and well placed bullet hell I've ever played I might even have the audacity to call it the best with its awesome chiptune music and its pseudo 16-bit graphics this is a this is a menace to be messed with this may sound con cliche contrived or even lame but I am giving this game my personal recommendation. I am giving this game a 10 out of 10. Overall, I had a blast making this, and this is a great game. You can find it on distractionware.com. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.